All right, folks, we've reached that part for a new segment on our show. What used to be another show of ours, Rewind, brought to you by the good folks, our friends over at AMC Theaters. In Rewind, we take a look at some of the movies that opened 10 years ago today and 20 years ago today, or at least this week. And I also like to affectionately refer to it as the feeling old segment. <laughs> all right, first of all, <laughs> going to their 10-year anniversaries. Before Yanaid was born. <laughs> before Yanaid was born, before her three children were born, going back 10 years, Where's celebrating Pepe? their 10th anniversary this week. Bad News Bears, The Devil's Rejects, Hustle and Flow, and Michael Bay's The Island. And celebrating its 20th anniversary this week, this one hits, Clueless. Clueless turns 20 years old this week, along with Free Willy 2. Schnapp, what stands out to you on this list? You know, Bad News Bears, Devil's Rejects, Hustle and Flow, The Island. So the Bad News Bears is the, was the remake yes. that came out. So that stands out as, like, I don't want to see that remake. And even 10 years later, I still don't want to see it. You know it. what? It wasn't as bad as you might think. It, it doesn't at all live up to the original. I know. But I, for me, that original with Walter Matthau is that's so it. So classic. I, don't want, I, don't, I love Billy Bob Thornton. I love him in Bad Santa. I don't care to see him in Bad News Bears, you know, what Electric Boogaloo or whatever it was called. So, <laughs> But, uh, yes, yeah, so what stands out to me is definitely The Devil's Rejects. That's a super freaky, weird Rob Zombie film. I like Rob Zombie's films. They, you know, they took a little time to get into for me at least. Um, but I really liked his take on Halloween, especially how the weird director's cut. So if you haven't checked out any of his stuff, what's the one, that, the last one that just came out? Uh, the name of it always. Escapes oh, me. we had him in studio. Yeah, well, to talk to us about it, and I, I cannot remember the name of the movie. The one that just came out. The last one with year. the girl who dis discovers she's a witch and comes yeah. from long lines of witches. I cannot remember. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the witch. <laughs> For, it was uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. it was not the yeah. Salem something Salem yeah, the, was in there uh, the Salem which is of Salem uh. no no it wasn't which is a Salem anyway Mark what are, what have all these films emojis of Salem it's just a frowny face <laughs> um free Willy too is actually what stands out to me because you can't make a fun whale movie anymore unless it's something like blackfish where or, or something like that's a documentary about how sad it is that we have whales in captivity free Willy <laughs> too was back in the day when you could have a whale starting in captivity and then it could free itself the first free Willy is the only one I saw though when the when the whale jumps out and frees itself and it's in the air for like thirty Skin. seconds, it's like Jordan just doing that free throw dunk. I don't know what happens at the end of Free Willy too. I imagine it's a happy ending too. Clueless, on the other hand, is a film that I was so excited for because I love Alicia Silverstone, particularly at that time in my life. I was a huge fan of the Aerosmith video she was in, and I'm like, can she carry her own movie? You're damn right she can. Alicia Silverstone, come back. We miss you. I think I think Free Willy 2 ended when it runs into a bunch of Japanese whalers. That does I'm not, not happen, sure. John. I cannot that remember. It's called happen. Lords of Salem, I just remembered Lords it. of Salem, Thank Super you. freaky, Rosemary's Baby meets uh, some other Kubrick nightmare. You should see that film. Um, It'll give you nightmares. The Island stands out to me because that was the first movie I remember that I was like, I, I was doing the movie blog already, and I was so conflicted about it. I was like, there were so many good concepts in there right. and yet executed so badly. So it was, I wasn't quite sure how to come out on that. But to me, it's it's clueless. That movie mm -hmm. is like still today culturally very relevant. People love that film. And what really freaks me out was Paul Rudd, because I think Anne was watching Clueless again like two weeks ago. Paul Rudd, I think, has aged four days <laughs> between Clueless and Ant-Man. That dude has not, like, he's drinking, you know, sheep blood or something. The dude is, it's freaky. He has not aged a day since that thing. So it's kind of weird to see at that point, too. So those are the ones that stand out to us. We'll be back again next week for the next little installment of Rewind.